typically we try to use makeup to help us look and feel our best and sometimes for some of us we want to look a little younger too right well did you know that makeup can sometimes have the reverse effect in fact making us look older so here to help so we don't make those mistakes michelle phillips in our morning blend beauty bag welcome back michelle how thank are you thank you i'm great thanks so yeah this is a biggie because this is a good topic to yeah we could do many segments on this. So let's do short version. Yeah, of course we have exactly. a model here. And so you've made some mistakes. You're going to give us some tips. Yep. Where do we begin? Okay. Well, I've done, this is Jessica. And of course she can't look bad if I tried to make her look bad. So, <laughs> but she's been our, is our model today. And what I did was I did half of her face the way that we typically do our makeup. And then I did the other half in the way that I suggest that will make you look more youthful. So I'm just going to kind of go down uh, from side to side what I did. First of all, I think a lot a lot of times I find that women wear very heavy foundation, which can make us look older. It can accentuate fine lines and wrinkles and make our skin tone look a little bit ruddy by the end of the day, as well as your tone and your texture of your skin can look a little bit more um, uneven. So see, and so. I hear, I'm going to interrupt you because I totally am going to take the blame on a lot of these because I do a lot of these. Mm -hmm. I look in the mirror and it's like I see dark spots and I see this and this, yep. so I tend to wear more foundation because right. I think that's going to make me look younger and you're saying no, that's actually not. What no. if you want that same coverage So though? what I do is I, instead, I use a lighter texture foundation, which okay. is a less heavy coverage, and then I use a spot concealer in places that will actually cover where you need it more rather rather than a, more of a mask-like effect. So that's what I do, even for people on the set when I'm working on movies and television, because I with HD, which is just like real life, you see everything, so you don't want to put on heavy makeup, Tell me right? about it. Let me tell you, we deal with it every and day. All of us are on HD <laughs> now, whether you're on camera or not. Um, the second thing is eyeshadow. A lot of times people put on very heavy eyeshadow, starting more on the inner part of their eye, and they, they go down. See how this drags her eye down? And then if you look up, Jessica, they like to wear very dark black eyeliner. Now, Jessica has gorgeous eyes and this is a great nighttime look. But for every day, if you look here, what I did was I put the eyeshadow up in a little more of a V, like right here in the crease. And you're going up to the brow bone, I correct? go up to the brow bone and I never go past the outer corner of her eye to her brow. And then try not to go more than this far in because this is the darkest part of your face. So if you go dark, you're accentuating dark circles here. And so then I always like to use a soft brown rather than a black because it's just a very nice, um, beautiful look for her eye. You don't see makeup, you see her eyes. And you know what? I actually was told some of these tricks, but not relation to aging, but trying to make the eye look more open, which yes. is something I struggle with on air. My eyes tend to look short, yes, look exactly. smaller. Exactly. This is a more open eye look. Exactly. Okay. That's what you want. A more open, lifted look. And the same with blush. If you look at Jessica's blush, most of the time people are trying to contour. And when they do and go too far down, it accentuates the fine lines here that we have around our um, you know, our laugh lines and our towards oh, our mouth. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Up and into the temple area is where you want to go. Again, another rule of thumb is not below this line between Ooh. your nose and your ear and the center of your eye. That's kind of the triangle you want to hit. And if you want to hit a little bit of a uh, contour, then just put it right here in the hollow of your oh. cheek. See, I like was trying to contour down here. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, now I'm here in the mistakes. And it I'm drags making. you down. You can see how much more lifted again, like you said, she looks on this side. Okay. And then last but not least, if you want to look more vibrant, if you not only want to look younger, but also make your skin overall look more beautiful and healthy, Who doesn't, right? lighter, brighter makeup. I mean, I'm sorry, lipstick. Lipstick is so important because darker colors will drag you down a little bit. Brighter will lighten and brighten your entire face. So if you want to wear a darker color that maybe like we have here that matches Jessica's blouse, what I would normally do is go back over that with kind of a gold or a pink or something to pop it rather than having this dark shade because that can drag you down 
in, unless you have much darker skin, of course, that can be really pretty on African-American skin or Latin skin. But if you're a medium skin tone to a light skin tone, lighter and brighter. Lighter and brighter. And like you mm -hmm. say, go, you can go dark, but then just top it off with like a lighter gloss or. Right, exactly. I Even like too. you look at Latin, you know, like a J-Lo and she wears a darker lip, but she always has a brighter pink in the she middle. Does. It's so pretty. Good so. stuff. Well, you are so pretty. You yes. are always so Thank pretty you. every time so you are, are here. <laughs> Michelle, we love when you're here. This was great. Thank and again, you. where can people go for more information? Michelle Phillips. Com. There it is. Thanks again. Thank Come you. back for some more. Hospital.